I've had enough. The No Sweat Insurance Agency has recalled all cars from the map and is taking weeks Bruh. to push our beloved vehicles into the game. I won't stand for this, and neither will they. Look at these absolute units. Today, we storm and launch an attack on the No Sweat HQ and the entire city of Lazy Lake. Simply put, one like equals one revenge. It's go time. So while the intro was mostly just a joke, there are a good number of players who have actually declared war on the No Sweat Insurance building because of the delay of the car's update. Probably the most popular post is this one from RickPanda14 on Reddit who says, Tomorrow at 12 a.m. UTC, we will drop into a match and we are going to destroy the No Sweat building to make them pay for their war crimes of removing cars. Who's with me? Now, if you're curious, that exact time is at 8 p.m. EST today on the East Coast, which is roughly the time this video is going to be uploaded in all likelihood. It reminds me a lot of the Area 51 meme we had last September. You guys know the storming and raiding of Area 51. That was a big meme. And while this is almost entirely a joke, it does show how passionate people are about the cars and we want them in the game. If you're a fan of free Fortnite emotes, I've got some news for you. So here is an emote that is going to be free for all players coming up on July 28th and July 29th. Now all you have to do to earn this emote for yourself completely free is to participate in Epic Games' upcoming We The People showing aka screening in the Party Royale game mode. There will be multiple screenings on July 28th and on July 29th. You only need to show up for one of them and the screenings will take place at 7 p.m. Eastern on both days respectively. The emote itself is called Verve and we can see my boy Fade hitting it here on screen. It's definitely a really cool emote and obviously since it's free you might as well go ahead and pick it up and add to the collection. It's unlikely that this emote would ever come out again in the item shop or have another chance to earn it so it should be pretty exclusive. Very very early this morning Fortnite had its water level lowered once again and the funny thing is I was actually playing when this happened and forgot it was happening and I just loaded into the next game and someone in my squad said, wait a second, isn't the water lowered? And I then remembered and said, yep, it sure is. There are a couple notable changes. Number one, a couple locations have gotten their names back on the map, including Craggy Cliffs and Weeping Woods. At this point, a majority of the map has been reclaimed and there aren't that many more water levels to go until we get back to the original map that we had on Season 2. Of course, updated a little bit with new POIs and whatnot, but for the most part, back to the same map. It's definitely been very interesting this season to see the water level recede and have the evolving map. And one thing I do want to point out is, no, you might be wondering, the spaceship near Craggy Cliffs is completely underwater still, and it's underwater by a pretty good bet. It's probably going to take at least two more water levels to go down until it's fully revealed. I would expect it to come out with the final water level. To be honest, I'm a little disappointed with the map changes so far this season. The water level has gone down several times. For example, Logjam Woodworks just came back today with the receded water level, and after being underwater Water for a month, what changed about it? Pretty much nothing major. Some of these places that have been fully underwater almost the entire time 
should have significant structural damage that would be pretty much permanent and change the way that is played, looted, and so much more. I want to see permanent damage from the flood done to areas that have been underwater for a long time. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think. As I see it, you're either in one of two different camps. Camp 1 is being pretty disappointed that the cars aren't in the game yet, and Camp 2 is just not caring too much and knowing that they're coming when they come, and just to be patient. I can see both sides, and I'm probably a mix of the two. I'm definitely a little disappointed the cars aren't in the game yet, but I also know it must be harder for Epic to make content while they're pushing it out working from home, so I can kind of sympathize, but at the same time, obviously, I'm a little disappointed. With that said, though, there is actually gameplay, you heard that right, gameplay of what cars could realistically look like. Now, a while ago, I showed gameplay of a specific creative map that basically did a similar thing. It showed what cars might look like once they come into the game. Now, that was actually done via the prop hunt game mode in the creative mode of Fortnite where you basically were the car. It was definitely better than nothing and did an okay job of showing what cars might look like when they come out, but the problem with that is they were really buggy. You literally were the car since it was prop hunt, so the angles were weird and there were a lot of bugs with that, and it wasn't exactly ideal, but now I've actually got gameplay, not just gameplay, very, very realistic car gameplay inside of Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, let me just go ahead and say this is not official. Cars probably will be a little different, but this was actually made by a couple leakers who have extreme knowledge of what the cars will look like, and this is what it looks like on screen. First off, I want to start by crediting Swan Leaks, Nearby Leaks, and Sizzy Leaks for creating this gameplay. This is definitely much better than what I showed in the Prop Hunt game mode, as this is, in a nutshell, what we should expect to see when the cars actually do come out here in a few weeks, which is very exciting. This gameplay is complete with obviously a car, car engine sounds, and so much more. They even made the animations over on the Unreal Engine 4, and I will also show gameplay of that coming up soon when this clip ends. Obviously, this isn't perfect. There are a few bugs you can notice with this car driving, but at the same time, it's an unbelievably great recreation and almost spot on with realistically what we should expect to see when the cars do come out. So like I said, they also remade the animations for the gas containers and pumping gas into your car. And this is what the animations will look like for that. Again, credit goes out to those exact same three leakers for making this. The more and more I watch the car gameplay and of course the refueling animations, it makes me so excited for what's to come. I mean, you might think, okay, cars, they're not really that big a deal because we've had vehicles in the past, we had similar ground vehicles like the ATK and the hoverboard, but cars, there's just a really cool dynamic with that because the fuel system, obviously you're going to have to pay attention to your fuel, it's the first vehicle in Fortnite to have that aspect. You're probably going to have people that camp the gas stations waiting on people to come fuel up their cars. It's going to make for some really sick surprise attacks and overall just really good strategies. Plus, like I've said before, there's something really special about just a plain car, not a boat, not a quad crasher or a helicopter or a plane or a hoverboard. Those are all vehicles that realistically, not only do some of them not exist in the real life, but most people never go into a helicopter and a lot of people have never been in a boat. Virtually everyone on the planet is familiar with the way a car works, which is why I think it's the most anticipated vehicle to ever come out into the game and I'm so excited and I cannot wait Hopefully they don't make us wait too, too much longer. Guys, definitely check me out over on caffeine.tv slash drpineapples via the link below if you want to win free gifts, free skins, and so much more. I've actually recently modified my custom gift rules to make it more friendly for people and to increase the variety of winners. I'm going to be going live tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern, so come on by. And of course, if you haven't joined the team yet, make sure to subscribe and click that bell to make sure you never miss out on any other awesome Fortnite content coming your way. I'll catch you in my next upload, and until then, take it easy and peace.